Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about modeling and simulation of a vehicle engine braking system using MATLAB Simulink. This example shows a diesel engine equipped with a jack brake or compression release engine brake. Here these are the contents uh, in this presentation. First introduction about the engine, engine braking system and Simulink model engine with brake subsystems and total braking torque subsystem, simulation result from scopes and simulation result from Simscape login. Here what are the products uh, used? to design this one. MATLAB Simulink and Mat Mat Simscape Driveline Toolbox. Here what is the engine braking system? What is engine braking? Here engine braking is basically the process of slowing the car down by releasing the accelerator and uh, shifting down through uh, gears rather than using the foot brake. What are the benefits of engine braking? It reduces wear and tear on your brakes. The brake system relies on friction to slow, slow down your vehicle. Engine braking is especially helpful on uh, long descents on mountain, mountains and on way hills. Riding the brakes down a long slope can cause them to overheat, which decreases the braking ability and damages the braking system. Okay. Then why should we use it? Uh, using the foot brake is a common way to reduce your speed, both in an emergency and in normal conditions. Depending on how hard you press the brake pedal, you control the speed at which you slow down when you stop and when you start again. But using the foot brake isn't, uh, isn't the only way to slow down. Though less commonly used, engine braking is a great way to improve your vehicle's efficiency and help your brakes last longer. Okay, here this, is a, this diagram shows intelligent uh, vehicle engine braking system. Here uh, uh, this graph shows the time versus uh, actual deceleration uh, in the form of uh, driver operation. Here actual uh, speed versus um, actual declaration without control and with control and driver operation with control and without control what is the opera, uh, operational reduction here we can see here in this example in this simulation model we can analyze engine speed uh, versus time and also throttle versus time here also braking cycle also we, uh, we need to analyze this one here it is why, why it is called as intelligent vehicle engine braking system when cornering the system estimates the desired vehicle path based on vehicle speed and driver's in steering input. A target speed appropriate for the estimated trajectory is determined from these measurements. Here engine braking is then smoothly and automatically applied when the actual uh, vehicle speed is higher than the target speed. Okay, these are the Simulink model um, um, designed by using uh, Simscape driveline MATLAB uh, Simulink software. Here uh, in this main subsystems are driver inputs. It is, uh, Driver inputs are throttle and eight, eight braking cylinders. Uh, the here by using signal builder, you can uh, make it. This one next uh, subsystem is engine with brake subsystem, and finally we are for calculating the total uh, power versus braking power. Here by using this example, what can uh, uh, what can we do? Do this means plot engine speed and also plot engine and braking torque, and also by using Simscape Result Explorer, you can find the each and every block simulation result. Here the Simulink model has engine with braking sub subsystem is there, engine, the engine with braking subsystem calculate the braking torque and also this engine speed. Here uh, the, there are options, uh, engine type of option is uh, diesel and spark ignition options are available, available here. Uh, so that you can for analysis purpose you use both engine, uh, both engine type. Okay, then next model is uh, total braking torque subsystem model. here can calculate total braking torque versus uh, cylinder braking torque per cylinder and finally we need to uh, find out that braking power versus total power uh, then by using the motion sensor you can find out the torque here this is the uh, simulation result from scope by using this scope simulating scope you can analyze the power uh, comparison between total power versus braking power by using the interactive uh, environment you can find out the conserved measurements we find out the uh, signal statistic, find out the bi-level measurements and also peak finder measurement. This plot shows the comparison of total power versus braking power. Okay, then uh, by using the Simscape logging, we, uh, we can uh, plot the engine speed versus uh, throttle and brake. Uh, this plot shows how the engine speed changes with the applied throttle and with the number of cylinders that are used for engine braking. Okay, here then next uh, diagram shows, next uh, plot shows the Torque supplied by the engine varies with the applied throttle and with the number of cylinders that are used for engine braking. Here this type of uh, brake is activated by the driver to slow down the vehicle without relying on fr friction bra braking mechanisms. Here uh, air is re released from the number of cylinders at the end of 
of their compression stroke. In this example, the driver can dynamically select the uh, select to activate braking on 0 to 8 cylinders. This is an important concept. Then the braking torque for each cylinder is set up uh, using a lookup table with engine speed as a input. Let us see the simulation. These are uh, simulic model uh, for the designing this uh, engine braking vehicle engine braking uh, design. Here these are the in driver input block by using the signal builder uh, block we can say, say the give the input inputs called throttle and braking cylinders here itself we can uh, vary, vary the signal inputs also braking cylinder values uh, here braking cylinders and the throttle also you can uh, import the import from the file also if you are, if you are saving uh, save in our uh, format which format you can give the value uh, excel file in the form of excel file you can see in the form of text file the form of mat file it is accessible Okay, so here in this manner we can, we can set the inputs, driver inputs, throttle and braking cylinder inputs and the, this is our uh, engine with brake subsystem. In this subsystem, uh, we can need to, you need to find out the braking torque and also engine uh, engine block. This engine block uh, represent your system level model of spark ignition and diesel engines suitable for uh, this type of modeling. Here these are the settings uh, engine torque, here model parameterization, you can use the third RL for polynomial match to peak power, tabulated torque data or tabulated power data. Here there are two options is available uh, for uh, selecting the engine. First one is a diesel and the spark ignition engine. Here for analysis purpose you select, uh, first you simulate with uh, diesel engine type and then, uh, and then select with the spark ignition type just to compare the results by using simscape logging and also by using sim uh, simulink scope uh, for power measurements. Okay, for the same thing, dynamics values and limits and fuel consumption, you, you can also analyze this analyze this uh, design with no fuel consumption and constant per revolution, fuel consumption by speed and torque. In this manner, you can select the fuel model. This is a speed controller also we can set. And this is our braking torque. In this braking torque, you need to find out the uh, total braking power. Uh, total power versus braking power uh, comparison for this one. Here motion sensor, um, is there, uh, this block measures the angular velocity or uh, angle in the mechanical rotation network with the help of uh, this torque source. This torque source, this block uh, represent the ideal source of torque that generates torque as it uh, terminal proportional to the input physical signal. In this manner we can design the engine braking system. Let us see the simulation. Now we can see the power, power versus total power versus braking power here you can uh, this blue line shows the braking power and the yellow line shows the uh, total power In, based on that you need to find out uh, this uh, peak fire peak value x and y position value where also we can see the uh, peak finder value here by using this interactive app we can measure um, by measurement measuring this uh, time value what is the uh, power in terms of uh, this cursor position you can move the cursor can also uh, see the variation in this measurement. Just you move this cursor, you can see uh, the delta T value. Is about what is the delta T and what is the delta y in terms of power you can measure, you can see. For example, here in this peak, what is the power? You can see 2.004 and 8.240. This is a probe to 8.42. And this, this block to this block, what is the comparison? Is there 3.984 is the difference? In this manner, you can analyze uh, by using this um, cursor measurement uh, option. Okay, here here is signal statistic, what is the maximum um, value and what is the minimum value, what is the peak to peak uh, signal uh, time versus this RMS value median. In this, ma in this manner, you can set, uh, find out the uh, analysis of each and every uh, uh, duration. Here, the next one, the plot the engine and the braking torque. By using this simscape logging, you can find out the torque and uh, throttle uh, uh, and brake time versus here. This is your output. Blue line indicates output uh, torque and uh, combustion torque and braking torque. Here the throttle and uh, brake. Uh, here this is your braking cycle shows 0 to 8 cylinders here we are using so that you can see, see the output uh, with the help of this throttle input. Then next one, uh, the simulation result with this uh, simscape interactive. Simscape Result Explorer, you, you, you can find out the engine with brake. And this is your braking torque diagram. You so find out the braking power and braking torque per cylinder and motion sensor and uh, number, number of cycle limit. 
this manner we can analyze total braking torque and uh, this is for first one there is a engine engine uh, uh, you can see that invasion threat is at the control uh, throttle and the lagged throttle in this manner we can analyze what is the net power we can calculate here also tools are available here we can edit the tools and also align and distribution of tool and also uh, make uh, make this uh, graph interactively by using this inkscape result explorer i hope you are understanding uh, uh, with this one engine braking system using uh, matlab uh, simulink uh, with inkscape drive line toolbox i hope uh, you are under, i hope you are um, enjoying this video thanks for watching thank you